Well, it was a story that made headlines. A restaurant host in Cordova was beaten by angry customers who had to wait for a table. Four members of the same family now face charges. The victim, meantime, is struggling to earn money, but he's getting help. WREG Stephanie Skurlock has the story in this week's Pass It On. This is the picture of 17-year-old Amarian Ford people saw on the news. Him lying on a cold restaurant floor, bloodied and bruised, after he was attacked while working at Cheddar's. You contacted us. Keith Leachman's barber was at the restaurant that day. What made you want to pass it on to him? Well, I was hanging out with my barber, Johnny Macon, and he was like, man, I was there. I seen it. He was kind, polite. I was like, well, hey, man, we got to go sow a seed in this young king. We got to go give him some hope. Police arrested four family members and charged them with attacking Omarion, who worked as a host at the restaurant. They were allegedly upset because they had to wait too long for a table, and when they got one, they didn't like it. Police say the man punched Omarion first, and one of the women joined in, hitting him until he fell, knocking his head against a brick wall. We got to let him know all is well. One. Two. So I hand three. Keith a thousand dollars. We head over to Amarian's house to pay him a visit. It's gonna make his day. Maria. Amarian's mother calls him to the door, and Keith takes it from there. How you doing? Good. I'm Keith Leachman, man. Uh, I seen what happened to you, and I just want you to know uh, all is well, and God got you, okay? And uh, we're here to pass it on to you, too. Three. Keith pulls out the money Four. and starts counting the cash. $300 from News Six. Channel 3 and $700 from Eight. our anonymous donor. $1,000 to help Omarion pay for things he needs for school and for his senior class fees and expenses. I really appreciate him, man. Thank him so much. This, this really means a word to me, like, honestly. I'm trying not to cry, but it means a word to me. Passing it on to Omarion helps mom, too. She's off work on maternity leave with a new baby. Omarion and his twin brother got jobs to help pay for things they wanted and needed for school. I teach my children, you know, how to be respectful, how to be there, you know, for people, how to be there for themselves, and I'm teaching them how to be men, and for that to happen to them, that was heartbreaking to me. Hear my humble cry! No more my kids and loved ones have to die. The whole city is on the fire. Keith runs an organization, Stop the Killing, Cut the Beef. He hopes he's helped ease that heartbreak. You keep that same energy. You, you keep that same spirit in life. And it's going to carry you through. Because I don't want y'all to travel the road I travel. I ain't always been this good boy. I'm trying to get in the gate right now. I've been doing Stop the Killing like 20 years. Every day I get up and beat the blocks to make a difference. Omarion still has headaches from the concussion he suffered during the attack, and emotionally, his mother says he still needs support. This gesture from a stranger lets her know they're not alone. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really do. I really appreciate it. That means a lot to us. It really do, because it's been a, it's been tough. You know, it's been it's been hard. You know, but just holding on and trying to keep him encouraged through everything. Stephanie Skurlock, WREG News Channel 3.